Hi beauties, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to draft a corset using your already made braco and also a tip. Okay, we are not going to be use, doing the regular, we are not going to be using the paper method. We are going to be using our maxing tape and the transparent tape. So if this is something you are interested in learning, watch the video to the end, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section I'd like to read from you. So here are the tools that I am going to be working with. I have my already made braco, I have a scissors, I have a marker, I have... um a paper to transfer the fabric uh, the pattern on top and then i have two different types of tips now i have the transparent one i have the um, paper type so if you use the transparent one it will help you to be able to um, easily remove the tape from the bracket but if you go directly with the paper tape it will stick on the drop uh, on the cup and then it might rip the cup apart this is something i have tried and it happened so in order for that not to happen i first of all layered um the transparent tape on the cup before going in to use the paper tape all right guys i have um covered all of my cup with the transparent tape now i'm going to go on to use um the paper tape Okay, so I'm going to go on to use the paper tape. I'm just going to grab the tape and then I'm going to layer it on top of the cup and just smoothing it out. Okay, that's what I'll be doing right here. I'm going to layer it all over um, the other tape. This way, it will be much more easier for us to take out when we're about to take it out. So guys now that we are done layering the tape on top of each other we are going to go ahead and cut out um, those excesses we have at the edge of our braco we don't need that so we are going to be cutting those excess tape at the edges now after that now what we'll do next is to take our marker at this point now you can now go ahead and draw out um, the shape of the corset um, design that you are going for if you want it to be a two-piece if you want it to be a three-piece corset you can go ahead and do that so right here I have got my marker now I'm just going to go ahead and use my free hand to mark out the shape that I want you don't necessarily have to measure this but if you want to you can go ahead and measure it out so I'm going to be marking out a three-piece um, corset on this cup so I'm just going to go ahead and use my marker now to mark out the shape of the corset that I'm going for I marked out the top and then I'm going to mark out the center so from the center you can take your dart as a guide and then you bring out bring down the line from that that line down to the um, lower part of your cup so that way it's much more easier for you to locate where the midpoint of your cup is so i'm going to be taking that guide and then i'll be drawing the line downwards to touch the lower part of my cup so this way my three piece corset is formed next what i'll be doing is to be taking out the tape you can see how easily it is coming off because we use the transparent tape first before going in with the paper tape so now i'm going to be taking it out okay so just gradually pull it out and it will not damage your corset sorry your cup i promise you that so now i'm taking it out and after taking it out the next thing that i will do on this is to take my scissors and cut out so you're going to be cutting exactly on the lines that you marked out on your cup okay so make sure that you mark it sorry that you cut exactly on the lines 
that you marked out on your cup so that's what i'm doing here after cutting out all of the lines that i have on my corsets on my cup i'm going to place it on my paper so the reason why we are placing it on paper is so that we can add um sewing allowance to it if you want to you can if you don't want to, you can leave it the bra cup already comes with a half a quarter of an inch sewing allowance to it but if you want to you can go ahead and do this method so now i'm placing my my corset cups on top of the paper then i'm going to be adding half an inch sewing allowance to all of the pattern all around it and after that is done the next thing i'll be doing is to cut it out you can see that it's simple and easy there is no calculations to this this is one of the easiest way for you to make a corset cup without actually drafting a pattern on your on your paper or on your fabric so here after we've cut out we are going to be transferring this pattern onto our fabric so i can also show you guys how you can use this to cover your uh, cup so right here this is what i have i've placed my um pattern on top of my fabric and i have gone ahead to cut it out all right so i cut out exactly what i have on my paper and also please remember that you have to place notches so that when joining these pieces together you won't get confused and you would know what um parts aligns with what part okay so that is the excess of placing notches for a corset it is very important for you to place notches okay so after you've placed the notches i'm going to be taking out the pattern and you can see what we have our fabric is looking exactly like what we have on our paper so now we are going to be stitching this together so that we can cover the cups now to do this i went ahead to iron and interfacing on each piece of the fabric you can skip this if you don't want to so after ironing and interfacing i'm going to place them right sides facing each other on both sides of the corset i'm going to be stitching them up by half an inch okay so i used my pins to secure the sides and also remember to match your notches they are very essential so we take this to the machine and i'm going to join them by half an inch at the side and also at the top i'm going to also be joining them by half an inch at the top so after joining this is what our cups looks like this is gorgeous and beautiful and i love it so now it's very easy you can now go ahead and use this to cover your cups now for you to get a very clean and perfect finish i would advise that you trim off the excesses that you have so after you stitch the half an inch you can go ahead and trim it off so that your seam line will be very very slim and it will not create bulkiness so now i'm going to take the cups now and i have those ball that i used to iron my 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 boss um area so i'm going to place um this on top of the ball and i'm going to be ironing this together and for you to be able to stick these two pieces together it's either you stitch it on a sewing machine or you use your hemming gum to secure them together so for me i'm going to be using my hemming gum because it gives it a very clean and nice finish at the end of the day so i'm going to be um, applying hemming tapes on all parts of my cup and after that i'm going to take the fabric and place on top of it and then use my iron to iron it out so it melts the both of them together that way you don't have any crease line and it actually gets the job done so that's what i've done here join the two of them together with my hemming gum and use my hot steam iron to iron them both together also remembering to put it on your ball so that the breast area comes out well the roundness comes out beautifully well and after that is done here is what the cups looks like it isn't, isn't this beautiful now if you make yours do let me know in the comment section i hope you find this video helpful if you do please subscribe like share and leave a comment in the comment section i'll see you in my next one stay blessed bye